up y'all so uh don't mind the hair <laughs> it's uh this thing right there it's i don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what, what's going on there um anyways so about a week ago let's get back up in there i'm not i'm not really dealing with the hair today that's just what's going on okay so about a week ago i had a company contact me and they were from hush.com a website called hush.com uh, and they asked me if they could send me some stuff and I was like, yeah, you can send me some stuff. Why? Why? Anyways, he sh oh, oh, so this is happening now. Okay. Jesus. Anyways, uh, they were like, hey, can we send you some stuff? And I was like, hell yeah, can you send me some stuff? FYI, I'm always honest. So whatever you're going to send me, I'm going to like tell the truth about and stuff. And they were like, cool, no problem. We're gonna send you some shit. I didn't even know what it was. Like I went on the website and I looked and I was like, oh, at first I thought it was like real shit. You know what I mean? Cause I just kind of breezed over it to be honest with you guys. Um, I wasn't at home. I was out doing something. I don't even know what the fuck I was doing. I was out doing something and I had gotten on the website and I just like scrolled through it really quick. And then I think I got interrupted or something. So I just emailed him back. I was like, yeah, send me some shit, whatevs. Uh, and then later on, after I got the stuff, I was like, what? I don't, I don't understand what's going on here. So I got back on the site and apparently what it is, is it is a website that has dupes for high-end products. So, um, I know there's a lot of controversy, um, not so much right at this particular moment, but here a couple of months back, I know some people are like real uptight about dupes as far as like you know replicas <coughs> cat body um but in my eyes uh i feel like if somebody's duping your product a that's flattering and b um i and i know a lot of people think too like if you made your product more affordable people wouldn't have to dupe it and if you are as confident in your product as you are then you shouldn't worry about people buying the dupe because if your product is that good, they're gonna want that over the dupe. Do you know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion though. So anyways, um, they sent me a bunch of products and I'm gonna haul them. Uh, the look that I got going on on my face piece right now was using everything that I got. Um, aside from, obviously they sent me a face mask. Obviously I didn't use that. I didn't use a lot of the brushes. I'm not gonna lie. Cause if you guys follow me, then you know, like I'm not a big brush person. Um, I basically do everything in life with like five or six brushes. No shit. I don't use a lot of the brushes. However, I do have the um, high-end version of the brushes. I've also got the high-end version of one palette. The other two palettes I don't have the high-end versions of. Let's just get into the haul. Let me just haul stuff. Okay, here we go. So first things first, I'll talk about the brushes. They sent me the brushes. So I only have three. These brushes are supposed to be dupes for like the Real Techniques Bold Metals collection, obviously, collection. I said that really weird. Obviously. Um, so first things first, we have the powder brush, which looks like this. And on the website, I really do not believe that it actually states um, what this stuff is supposed to be dupes for, which is why when I very, very first got on the site, I was like super hella confused because I was like, what's going on here <laughs> what is this stuff so um but these are the brushes that they're supposed to be dupes for even though they don't say that i mean hello so this is the powder brush this is the real techniques powder brush i will say the real techniques one is very well weighted um and that is a point of their bold metals collection is that they're supposed to be very high end they're supposed to be weighted and all that jazz this one's like very light I mean, like feels like nothing. However, the bristles are very soft. The shape is a little bit different. So this is what the shape looks like side by side. Um, but all in all, I mean, basically the same shit. You know what I mean? The Real Techniques powder brush is a little bit tighter, um, but you know, serves the same fucking purpose. Let's let's get over it. So next thing I have is this one. Um, I think I had that. Wasn't there one like that? Did I drop it or something? Because I know I used it for something. Oh, 
here it is okay so this is the next one is what's supposed to be the next dupe again the real techniques is weighted um as far as the shape goes real techniques has a little bit of a pointier shape but they serve the same purpose this one here i would usually use for like setting right here um i don't really use it that much anymore this one today i used for highlighter and it worked you know really well actually so that's freaking dope and then the next ones are all the oh no i have one more of the real techniques so this one is the um dupe from the hush.com site this one's the real techniques one you can tell right away and i stated in my get ready with me which did i even fucking say that after i post this that the next video after this one is going to be a real ads get ready with me using all the stuff i mean not every single thing but you know what i mean using the stuff like i created this eye look out of one of these palettes so i will tell you which one here we go okay got it got it good um this i said in the get ready with me like this i used this brush here for my eyebrows i used to use the real techniques one for my eyebrows and i loved it but i could not stand the fact that it did not have a spoolie on the end so that is why i stopped using it but you can just tell by looking like and i said it in the get ready with me the real techniques one is like a lot thinner and a lot stiffer than what this one is i didn't really care for this for my brows um and i think it would just be too thick for eyeliner so if you're somebody that does a very natural brow probably um but again i just i don't like not having this fully so and then these all come in a set bt dabs which i will leave the price for right here and the name of it and everything else um they all like come in a set by the way too they're not paying me to say this like they're not like paying me to do anything or anything like that they were just like hey we want to send you some shit for a review and i was like okay i'll do a fucking haul when i get it that's literally the end of, the extent of it um i'm just doing it just you know because like that's what you're supposed to do like people send you shit and you show it to people like why else would they do it um so uh this is the next one which is like it's I have this too I'm not gonna go look for it because I got time for that I only got so many minutes left on this on this little hair uh what's it called memory card so um but this is like the real techniques bullet bullet one I think the real techniques one is a little bit longer and more tapered um and then these are the other ones this one's the contour not really sure what this is supposed to be like an eyeshadow brush but I tried to use it as eyeshadow it was just very awkward for me but I don't even think it's supposed to be used like that anyways so there's that this one I mean looks just like the real techniques one because I actually took this back Tim bought it for me for Christmas the real techniques version um and I took it back because I was just like what the fuck am I going to use this for but it did work for like setting because I used it to set here set here in my eyes after I put concealer on them so I mean honestly the only difference between these and the real techniques one is like a slight variance in shape and then the weight i cannot speak to longevity though um i have real techniques brushes that i have had for six to seven years probably um maybe even longer and like i bought them when they very very first came out on the market i hunted them down and like went to an ulta that is like a state away from me to get them um and that was like five or six years ago so i've had my real techniques brushes forever and i beat the fuck out of my brushes and they've lasted as far as these go i can't say because you know obviously i just got them so but they seem like you know they're super soft uh they seem like decent quality but you know same quality as you can get in like a morphe brush or something okay moving right along next thing i got is a highlighting palette and i have one of the highlights on right now right now as you're looking at my face there's a highlight on it um and it is this one called stardust this i believe is supposed to be a dupe for the anastasia moonchild palette and let me tell you girl like these are very soft um i have them on my face right now as you can see they're like very sheeny they're actually really decent they remind me a lot and i told you guys this you'll see it in the that is the worst fucking swatch i think i've ever done um let me retry that <laughs> um but these really remind me of the quality because they feel just like them and they act just like them of the um what are they called the nyx uh duochrome highlighters all these highlighters are duochrome that is them right there 
as you can tell, they're like pretty fucking good. Again, I will put the name of the palette and the price and everything right here for your viewing pleasure. Um, they're really good. So I personally am not one um, for like duochrome highlights. I like a duochrome highlight, it's very, very subtle. Um, I don't like actual color across my face. I do like the Moonchild palette. The Aurora palette, I think, is like the newest Anastasia one. That one's like a little bit too crazy for me. Um, but, and especially if you're somebody like me, this would be a good, you know, alternative, which is why I bought the NYX ones, because they were like hella cheap and not that bad um, for when I do want to wear a duochrome highlight, because there are times where like, believe it or not i actually like fucks with my face like do like colorful <laughs> makeup believe it or not even though i don't do it like on the daily there are times where i do it so i do like a really pretty duochrome highlight so um that's cool this is called the aka land a lot of this stuff is by this aka land brand to be she dubs um which like i said i probably already put it on the screen aka land glowing palette shimmers kit that's what this is called um, I guess I can tell you what shit's called while I'm doing this, can't I? So anyways, next up is this. This is called the Sealer Matte Eyeshadow. Um, Shine Easy Glam Product Secret. I don't know what the deal is with the name, but I will put it over here in the price. This, I'm assuming, is supposed to be a dupe for the Lime Crime Venus palette. You guys, literally, I have wanted the Lime Crime Venus palette. <laughs> the lime crime venus palette for like two years i really just did not want to fuck with getting the slack from people of the world wide web telling me like lime crime this and lime crime that like she's a horrible person obviously she's a horrible person but i don't give a fuck it's just makeup jesus uh anyways i know i'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for that but it is what it is girl so um let me swatch this one really quick this is what I have on my eyes right now. It's actually really good, just saying. So these are the swatches here. Is it fucking Anastasia quality or even like a Lime Crime quality? Crime, crime, crime. Damn, I can't talk today. Is it Anastasia or Lime Crime quality? Mm, no, and the swatches don't look that great, but obviously they really perform really well on the eyes and you guys will see like, and, and look, when you go to wipe it off, like when it doesn't wipe completely off, that means it's pretty good. Um, and you guys will see like in the, what's it called? Get ready with me. <laughs> You'll see in the get ready with me, like just how well they perform. Like I did not have to build this shit up, girl. This is like one little swing with the brush and one little swing with the dark color blend it all out that's it you guys know i'm like easy peasy af when it comes to my eyes and it was super easy and i didn't have to blend that much like they're actually really good which y'all see in the y'all will see in the um get ready with me this like color rebirth is fucking life oh my god i'm like dying are you dying i'm dying it's like this really pretty like melon but like not bright melon but like dark melon it's like on oh, my eyes right now and i live girl so this is freaking dope okay so sorry my freaking memory card filled up and like i didn't even realize it i just kept looking at the camera and talk talk talking and then i looked down it's like card full so i'm not even sure where i stopped so the last palette that I have is called the Royal <laughs> I'm all fumbly I'm hot this is the end of the day girl it is currently 2 38 I've been sitting under these lights since 11 o'clock this morning so that's a thing anyways this is the Royals palette obviously this is supposed to be a dupe for the modern Renaissance palette let me grab my modern palettes and show you a comparison so is it an exact dupe? Obviously not. Um, do they hold a card to Anastasia shadows? Absolutely not. Cause I mean, fucking Anastasia shadows are like legit the best shadow formulation I've ever used in my life. I love them to death. Um, and there's a lot of differences too. Like the majestic shade is, let me, let's do side by sides, shall we? I'm pretty sure I said I was going to do that anyways. Um, 
they're like not the exact same color so like this one's the Anastasia one this one is the dupe palette so I mean you can tell there's obviously like a huge quality difference there let me do one more burnt orange Anastasia right there hopefully you can see it you can see the swatches from those other shadows sorry um burnt orange for Anastasia and then I believe the dupe is supposed to be this air color which is right there so I mean you can tell well these two are like not that different but obviously there's going to be a quality comparison however if you are somebody that either can't get it or just does not want to shell the money out for the Anastasia palette I would definitely check this out um I do know that this is cruelty free whether Anastasia is cruelty free or not I yeah they are okay so never mind that's not a good argument <laughs> you guys know I'm not good at you tips anyways um if you want like something similar or you want like a replica because I think this is like $15 again I will leave like the name and the price and everything like that over here but I'm pretty sure the majority of these range from like $10 to $20 and the majority of the dupes that they are or the majority of the palettes that they are dupes for range between the $40 and $50 range aside from the modern, modern renaissance palette which I know that's $42 right isn't it $40 or $42 something like that so between the 40 and 50 these are between 10 and 20 so is it worth it to you um that's up to you i mean if you want an exact almost damn near exact replica of the shades all in one place then yes i would definitely say yes um if you don't care about the shades and you want the formulation dupe then no they're not a formulation dupe um as far as this one goes i can't say though because i've never I just drop my shit everywhere. I've never used a Lime Crime eyeshadow, so I can't really say whether they are or not, but these, this palette's really good, y'all. Um, this one is just okay, but I'll tell you guys, like, it works really well on the eyes. If I can find a picture of the eye look that I created with this, because I just, like, went right into it, didn't even swatch it, just threw it on my eyes, because a lot of times when I swatch something, I'm like, oh, fuck that, I'm not even going to use it. You know what I mean? Especially when I buy stuff. Um... So I'm kind of glad I didn't swatch this first because I probably wouldn't have used it to be honest because I am such a swatch snob that like if something doesn't swatch good I'm like fuck it. But this actually worked really well on my eyes like it really did. So there is that. Next thing they sent me is like super badass. So this is called the Kale... <laughs> The Kale Jume. Kale Jume Jelly Lipsticks are world's first lipstick, which is uniquely designed, which is uniquely designed with gold flakes and real flowers inside. When applied to the lips, Kale Jume, I, I guess that's how you say it, lipsticks give you a light pink tint that changes colors depending on your temperature and body pH. Kale Mejue lipsticks not only add nourishing color to your lips, they also serve as lip balms and provide hydration. The K word, lipsticks moist your lips, prevent chapped lips, and long lasting color to your lips. Um, this is dope AF, let me just say that first off, okay? So it comes in a product like this. Not gonna lie, when I saw that, I say not gonna lie all the time. That's like my go-to phrase. I need to quit fucking saying that because it annoys me. I annoy myself. Um, when I first saw this and I seen that it said flame red, I didn't read it or anything like that. They did not tell me what they were gonna send me. Um, they were just like, hey, can we send you shit? And I was like, yeah. And then I got a box in the mail like a week later with shit in it. <laughs> um, so when I first saw this, I pulled it out of the box. Um, I was like fuck really flame red because you don't know how i feel about red lipsticks you know how i feel about the color red it is not my thing so i pulled this out and i see like it said flame red on the bottom i was like oh great so you click it like this which is dope i don't i don't know why i'm so fascinated with that and then you roll it up and it looks like this there's a little flower in it <laughs> 
oh my god it's so fucking cute i can't even i can't even i can't even let me close up oh my god you guys are gonna die it's like literally the cutest little fucking lipstick i just want to be like in public like this look at me with my little flower mm -hmm. ever seen anything like that probably not and it smells like strawberries it smells so good okay let me show it to you Oh, can you see? Oh my God, could you die? Can you see it? I hope you guys can see it. I really do. Is this not the cutest fucking thing ever? Am I in focus? There, I think that's in focus. Do you see the flower in it and the gold flakes? How fucking cool is that? So as far as this goes, it's like dope as fuck, but I do not like the color. <laughs> the formula is really nice and it smells really good and it does feel really moisturizing. I just don't care for the color. Um, I'm not going to lie and say that I've been on the website to see if there are multiple colors <laughs> because I have no clue. I'm assuming not. I mean, even though it says flame red, it also says that it like changes to your body temperature. So I'm assuming it's like the only one of it. I don't know. I should probably go on the website and look. I will annotate if they are different colors, cause I am a piece of shit YouTuber that does not do things. I shouldn't be allowed to do anything, to be honest. Okay, so anyways, um, I don't really care for the color. So what I did in the get ready with me was I only stuck it on the center of my lips. So I only did this and then I went like this, which I like that look. When you put it over your entire lips, goddamn, is it bright. Uh, so that's the color right there. I mean, if that's not like fucking 80s pink, I don't know what it is, girl. So maybe it's because like it says like it changes to your body pH and whatever else, which I totally agree with because, um, if you guys don't know, I work at Ulta and we carry it cosmetics and it cosmetics carries those like whatever they're called lip flush or something like that and they do look different on all different kinds of people because i've seen so many customers try it on some people it looks red on some people it looks pink on some people it doesn't look like anything on you know what i mean so um this is kind of like essentially the same thing and i just think it's so cool it has flour in it okay and it smells really fucking good it smells like strawberry jam Oh, it smells so good, but I just the flower is so cute. I kind of wish I wouldn't even have used it I could have just used it as like a decoration or something even though I don't decorate with makeup and still be cool um, So anyways, I will put the name and the price and all that of this thing Right there right there is where I will put it. Okay, so last things last Last up last up uh, the last thing they sent me was this carbonated bubble clay mask. I'm assuming this is supposed to be a dupe for like a Tony Moly mask. I am so sorry about my dog. Seriously, again. I've had so many interruptions filming today. It's like really bits of me off, girl, real bad. Okay, so anyways, um, I'm assuming this is supposed to be a dupe for like a Tony Moly mask. I will put the name and the price right here. This, I will put a picture up of me using this is the coolest fucking mask um it comes in a little jar like this okay and it comes with like a little spatula and you put it all over your face like a mask and then it like bubbles up have you guys seen these bubble masks it is hilarious so let me put a picture right here of me using this it is literally the funniest thing ever is that not the funniest thing ever um this i love i used it tim used it it was amazing Tim's home, so just hold on. So sorry, just wait until all these videos come out. I've been interrupted so many times today. I mean, I've literally been sitting here since 11 o'clock and it's like almost three. That's how many times I've been interrupted. Anyways, I use this, Tim uses. It was so fucking dope. Like it not only, the thing that's cool about it is like it bubbles up and it like draws everything out. But then when you go to wash it off, it turns into clay and it's like, makes your skin so soft like cleans your pores out it's a really good mask i'm not really sure how much it is again like i said if i haven't already i'll put it right there this is a really good mask so i don't know how much the tony moly one is or i mean you guys know i'm like not a fucking pro youtuber over here you know what i'm saying like i'm just a chick <laughs> that comes on camera and talks about shit um so i'm not really sure 
Maybe if I can find one that's like similar, I'll put it over here. But this was so good and I loved it so, so much. So that is it. That's all they said. Uh, as I said earlier, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I'm mentioning it now. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it earlier, but I can't fucking remember because I've been interrupted 32 times. Um, as I may or may not have said earlier, this is a get ready with me that I filmed right before this one because I wanted to do the get ready with me and then do the haul and then kind of come back on tell you guys what's up because you guys know I like to do my hauls like that. So um, following this video will be the get ready with me with this face right here. Okay, so that's it. That's what I got. So I will leave the link to the website down below and um, I don't know, maybe I'll leave links to all these products too. If I forget, tell me in the comments because you guys know I'm real fucking good at forgetting shit. I'm a piece of shit over here. Always forgetting things and stuff. Not a real YouTuber, just saying. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, like I said earlier, they're not paying me or anything like that. The link is not an affiliate link. Y'all know I'm always honest, just saying. Okay, so Beeps is home, so I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you are not following me on all my social media here. And I will catch you guys in my next one. If you guys have any questions about stuff, let me know. Okay.